Welcome back family. In today's video, I'm going over a major update on Megawatt Lithium and Battery Metals Corp. We did a breakdown a few weeks ago on this channel, but in this video guys, I'm going to share some exciting news that just dropped and a little bit more insight on this amazing opportunity. Before I begin, do me a favor, be sure to smash that like button. It only takes a few seconds and I really would appreciate it. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss out on future updates. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice. Video is only for entertainment purposes. Now let's get right into it. So the company is called megawatt lithium and battery metals corp and you can find this company trading on the cse under ticker symbol mega as well as on the otc under ticker symbol walrf before i break down why i think this company could be on the verge of a potential breakout do yourself a favor pause this video and add this one to your watch list so just as a quick refresher so megawatt touts itself as the investment vehicle of choice for ev battery metals and i think this is for a good reason as we get further into this video you will understand why this company offers investors the rare opportunity to get exposure to multiple battery metals in safe mining friendly countries proven mining districts and from assets with extensive historical work as the market grows for electric vehicles production of their batteries will drive unprecedented demand for the key commodities needed to build them guys we all know the shift to evs is continuing to grow at a rapid pace and megawatt is pretty much in position to take advantage of this growing demand they are committed to discover and developing battery metal deposits in stable, safe, and mining-friendly jurisdictions. In fact, Elon Musk stated the following, Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. Imagine the impact this company could see if they potentially secure a contract with Tesla. It would be massive. Now let's go over the exciting news that just dropped. So on April 1st, 2024, Megawatt Metals entered into a share exchange agreement Agreement to fully acquire Labrador Mineral Resources Inc., including its 100% interest in the Benedict Mountains Uranium property in Labrador. Guys, this could end up being very beneficial for Megawatt Lithium and Battery Metals Corp. The fact that they are expanding by acquiring assets that are already producing value is a huge win for Megawatt Lithium and Battery Metals Corp. This will be a great addition to the already impressive lineup of mining projects they already have. Speaking of their mining projects, here's a quick run through of their projects. The first project is Arctic Fox, which is located in Australia and is focused on NDPR, uranium, and other earth metals. Now, what's really impressive about this project is significant high-grade historic surface assay results confirm the project is extremely prospective for REE, warranting a fast-track site visit to resample assay several areas. So definitely a really interesting project. The next project on the list, guys, is Century South silver zinc which is another project located in australia and as the name suggests this project is focused on silver lead and zinc well established mining district with developed infrastructure and several large-scale silver zinc lead copper deposits across this region the next project on the list is cobalt hill which is located in canada this project is focused on cobalt copper and gold this is a really good location for mining with excellent access to infrastructure also copper gold occurrence is identified and confirmed on the property. Next project is Isbijern Project, which is located in Australia and is focused on rare earth metals. Next, there is Mitsumis Lithium Project, which is located in Canada and is focused on lithium. Now, this one is strategically located in active area of lithium exploration and development projects. This is a really good area for lithium mining with a lot of potential. Next, there is Route 381 Lithium, which is also located in Quebec's Hard Rock Lithium district and as you can see from the map guys there are several actively advancing lithium projects in that area lastly there is tyr silver project which is located in australia and this project is focused on silver lead and zinc now as you can see from this huge map guys this company has so many projects they are involved in from canada all the way to australia and i think this could help position them very well as the demand for evs continues to grow and more and more battery metals are needed to this growth now just to reiterate lithium nickel and cobalt are all expected to have the highest multiples of demand growth with the need for silver remaining high for its conductive and corrosion resistant properties as you can see from the chart on the right the demand growth is absolutely bonkers luckily this company has the projects in place that are focused on filling some of this demand in my humble opinion guys i think there could be some serious potential here and it could be worth researching as soon as possible so if you 
you haven't done so already, add megawatt lithium and battery metals corp to your watch list immediately. Once again, here are the ticker symbols. I will have some links in the video description if you want to learn more about this exciting opportunity. With that said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss out on future videos. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice videos, only for entertainment purposes. You should never make any buying, holding, or selling decisions based on this video.